Should, as Mercedes fans, should we feel encouraged? Or how, how are you personally feeling after this weekend? I feel... Colton Brown are lined up on the grid. It's lights out and away we go. This week's grid walk. I feel better than Bahrain. Yes. Yeah, I think... I don't know what that means. (laughs) But I feel better than Bahrain. Yeah, I I guess I feel better than Bahrain. Right? I think. I just... I don't know how to properly describe my feeling. But it... It's not as like... Doom and gloom. The world is Doom and gloom. I mean, the hope didn't necessarily increase, but the doom and gloom has been like a little bit maintained. Yeah, I yeah, I feel the same. I just I mean, seeing them in front of the Ferraris did make me feel better. Only that I can point to a different team and be like, we weren't them that week. Oh yeah. yeah, being being in front of Ferrari definitely makes the difference. But then back to your point and you pulled the numbers and everything, like trying to race the Aston Martin just seemed almost impossible and that really hurt to watch. You know, like there was some racing, but it was just between like, you know, being able to maintain grip. It just like, if just because of the nature of F1 and how the laps go and tire degradation goes, it's just like watching any sort of attempt of racing against the Aston Martin was like, what are we doing? And we just knew it was eventually just not gonna go how a Mercedes fan, how we would want it to. Right. But I needed Lance to finish that race to see yes. how that would play out because look, I, I, Lance fan. So I also just needed Lance to finish the race, but I will admit that Alonso makes a difference the same way that Lewis makes a difference in a car. So I need, I needed to see and be able to average that out to get a full understanding of what's going on with the Aston car and how that relates to Mercedes. But I hate that I'm even having that conversation in my brain, to your point. Where it's but just- it's fair. I mean, having anyone that is, ev- no matter our opinions, and again, we've been very honest of that we're not necessarily like big Alonso fans. We're Lewis yeah. fans. So like, right. Right, like yeah, duh. But <laughs> there's a difference when you have a, a world championship driver operating any car. Yes. They just figure out the best way to optimize it. And that yeah. is something that, and not as an offense to Lance, like it just would be very interesting to be comparing Alonzo's numbers in the car to Lance's numbers in the car. Yeah. And I'm not upset that I'm having the conversation mostly because of that. I'm upset that I'm even having the conversation of having to compare this Mercedes car to that Aston Martin car. Like the fact that the, the, the bar is now the Aston Martin is so frustrating and upsetting, but we did get this weekend confirmation that we're going to see a completely different car soon. And I just, just get it right, please, please. And every single time Toto comes out and talks about getting Lewis his eighth, I always feel better. So I'm just, I'm going to live in that land and. No one bother us. No one tell us anything different. I don't want any, any other knowledge. Because trust me, we know we're just not putting it out into the world, but we know. Right, wait, 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 wait. That hope yeah. alarm. There we go. But <laughs> So moving oh. away from Mercedes, because I can't linger on there too long, or I will be back in the Bahrain space, and I want to be in the, like, slightly better than that space of, <laughs> of the Saudi Arabian GP. Uh, Ferrari really got it wrong this past weekend. There... Yeah. So how... Are you thinking this is like a temporary? They just really got this weekend wrong. Do you think that's actually the pace of that car? Like where where are you landing on on the future of Ferrari? Because this was just moving on from this weekend. This was a bad weekend. At least, so this opinion is a lot as just kind of where I've just seen the state of Ferrari just like going. I think right now there's so much mayhem off track and I think we started to see that maybe like the communication issues or whatever last season like may have been like an actual part of their whole like strategy issue or different things like that Mm -hmm. but right now with a combination of all things we discussed last week of like apparently people are saying it's bad and this is like or if it's the media it just feels like there's so much madness happening off track that it's affecting the mentality on track yeah, yeah, I concur. And I do, I've really appreciated Fred Vessar's 
statements and he seems very frank and upfront and I think Ferrari <laughs> probably needs that and he he definitely seems to have identified and understands the problems it's just whether he's going to be given the tools to solve them right is always the question with Ferrari I do think that this weekend was somewhat of an anomaly I think they heavily reacted to the tire degradation in Bahrain and probably just didn't do enough to figure out what the actual pace of the car this weekend is. Plus, I do not trust that they've solved the power unit problems. No, no. I mean, I we've seen that that was already not solved and flowed over from last season in Bahrain. Right. And it, it's, I don't know, Ferrari's just really determined to be Ferrari and... <laughs> Yes. Yeah. 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 No, that I don't think nothing else. There we go. We're done talking about Ferrari because gosh, if you're not a Red Bull fan, like we all just need to Although being an Aston Martin fan right now is probably it's really great. lit. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I wish I could feel that way because I, I did feel pretty good. Being, being a not Aston Martin, not Lance fan. Yeah. Being an Alonso fan feels really great right now. Is your yeah. Point. Yes. Gotcha. Thanks so much for listening to this segment from episode nine of Gridwalk. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more F1 videos and silly F1 content that we're posting all of the time and new full episodes every single week. You made it this far in the video. Watch the rest of the podcast. You're missing so much more fun. So if you like this clip, make sure to go to our channel. You can click here for the full thing. Click, click right here. You can click right here and you can hear the whole entire thing. Click, 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 click it. Thank you.